Hey everyone, on this week in M&A, we're discussing non-sleep deep rest and another option for funding online business acquisitions and other online business news to help you on your journey to growing an empire. So let's get into it. Now, first, an announcement that the Opportunity Podcast has officially passed 100,000 downloads. And to celebrate, we're going to host an Ask Greg Anything episode. And if you don't know, Greg is our Director of Marketing. He's very well connected to the pulse of online business and he loves Dungeons and Dragons, so there's a lot to ask there. So anyways, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can submit any questions you have for him. Next, let's talk about the trend of the week. So the trend of the week is non-sleep deep rest. Now, non-sleep deep rest, or NSDR for short, is where you're essentially half asleep. Now, you've probably experienced this before, but did you know that with NSDR, your body actually experiences the same restorative benefits as if you've fallen into a deep sleep? Now, medical professionals like Dr. Andrew Huberman are starting to advocate for NSDR and Google searches have since exploded in 2022 for this search topic. The keyword NSDR is low difficulty right now, so jump on it while you can. And there's early signs that a sub-industry is being built for NSDR, like health apps are including related features and sleep clinics are offering related services. All right, let's go over the marketplace trends. This last week we had eight new businesses listed, 12 businesses sold totaling over $3.1 million in assets. We had 887 businesses that were unlocked and considered for purchase by our community of buyers and 1,011 new buyer accounts were created adding $24.8 million in buyer liquidity and 147 sellers submitted their business to potentially have it listed on the Empire Flippers marketplace. Next, let's discuss China's new supply chain issues. A 40% plummet in demand has forced ocean carriers to cancel more sailings than ever before. Spot rates for containers have crossed now break-even point, and Chinese factories are said to be closing two weeks early for New Year's, so on January 21st. Now, due to a drop in consumer demand, the total volume of cargo being carried by vessels has declined by 21%. Experts are predicting now a further decline of 2.5% and a 5 to 6% increase in vessel capacity by 2023. Ocean carriers can't afford, obviously, to send empty vessels, especially now that the spot rate for a container from Asia to the west coast has crossed that break-even point. That's why more sailings have been canceled than ever before and as a result imports to the U.S. from Asia have plunged to their lowest levels in 20 months. According to logistics managers this is creating two weeks of delay for shipping physical products. Now we've reached out to my FBA prep for some advice for how to help merchants through the rough waters right now and here are a few pieces of advice they offered. First if you're out of stock and can't source elsewhere offer gift cards instead of products. Second, push back the start date of the gift cards and add offers like 10% off. Third, consider alternative SKUs that could replace sold out items for now and present those to customers. Fourth, capture emails for pre-orders or for out of stock products and build a wait list. Next, let's talk about how you could buy three $1 million e-commerce businesses with $900,000 down and hint it's not through an SBA loan. So until now, the primary methods of funding businesses were through an SBA loan, private equity, or fundraising, but just recently we heard about someone who got 70% funding for three $1 million e-commerce businesses in just seven days without a personal guarantee. So after selling his own e-commerce business, he was left with $1 million to invest. Now, instead of buying one e-commerce business, he decided to diversify and reduce his risk. He bought three e-commerce businesses and he has three chances to scale his capital instead of one. So this week's opportunity guest is the head of partnerships for Bupos, which is the financing firm that put down the capital for this buyer. And I'll leave a link in the description to the full episode episode where you can learn how buyers are getting non-dilutive revenue-based funding for up to 80% of the purchase price in just seven days and again without a personal guarantee or late penalties. And if you see a listing on our marketplace with the verified badge in the top right hand corner, that means it's been approved for financing through Bupos. Now to act on these businesses leveraging funding through Bupos, you'll want to reach out to our business advisors to see the term sheets and then submit a funding application. Next, let's talk about this week's hidden gem. 
This week's hidden gem is for listing 64884. The current sales price is $1,625,221. It is a display advertising, e-commerce, and Amazon Associates business in the art, children, news, and education niches. It was created in January of 2010, and the WordPress site features informational and review type content surrounding educational guides for children. The site ranks highly for competitive keywords and requires minimal effort to maintain. Now we're highlighting the business this week because of its following strengths. First is its brand presence, specifically its domain rating of DR71 and its over 2 million social media followers. Second is the diverse earnings. It drives revenue from advertising, e-commerce, and Amazon Associates. And third is its growth. The business has seen year over year growth in traffic and earnings. Next, let's talk about the Google Spam Link Update. So the December 2022 Spam Link Update utilizes Google's AI-based spam prevention system, SpamBrain, to nullify unnatural links. So Google says SpamBrain can now also identify sites buying links and sites used for building outgoing links. Google advises that rankings may change in December as a result of this update, so failing to tag affiliate links appropriately could could result in your site getting hit by the link spam update, so it's time for a site audit. All right, well, if you'd like to receive this a week earlier and get much more info on this video summary, I highly recommend you subscribe to the free newsletter, and I'll leave a link to that below. And if you'd like to learn about how we built a powerhouse email newsletter with over 30,000 weekly readers, then click the video here. So thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.